Hello everybody, welcome back to another game of Netrunner from the Covenant Store in Tulsa, Oklahoma. My name is Steven. My name is also not Steven. Hello, Robert. Hi. And we have Joe on the right, we have Alejandro on the left. Texas versus Oklahoma. Oh, baby. Battle Royale. And this game is already well underway. Logos happening. Breaking news scored. Alejandro has ice everywhere. HQ R&D. There's a lot of restructures going on. And we're gonna pull it, pull the curtain back here, and and get right in. There's a man behind that curtain. Usually. All right, so Alejandro, a ton of ton of cash here. Cash for days. He just called yeah. JG Wentworth because it's his money. <laughs> a lot of restructures going on. And he wants it now. This is game 12, so whoever wins this will go to the semifinals of the loser bracket, and then whoever wins that, which would be game 13, will go to the finals. Uh, so these guys are playing for for realsies. Uh, this is, as I said, Joe, and he's playing in the old Armitage there. I haven't seen that in a bit. And he's playing Ian Sterling over here, the, the new criminal runner who's made quite a splash in some circles, uh, and he's doing something very different with Ian, and we're going to get to see if it works or doesn't. Obviously, he got Joe this far. I uh, got him all the way to the top eight. So, obviously, he's valid. He's, uh, he's totally reasonable. It is a criminal runner that is worth considering in, in a lot of cases. He brings an interesting control element to the runner's game, which you haven't really seen before. And uh, you just gotta you gotta think differently to play Ian. Man. And if there's anyone who's gonna do it, it's Joe Freeman. Look at all those credits. Woo. Yeah, lots of them. 18. Last cook looks like Joe is gonna be playing the New Angeles City Hall. It's gonna allow him to shake a tag if needed. And he trash it when you steal an agenda. Wow. Uh, of course, Joe probably not planning to do much early agenda stealing, although he did get that breaking news, right? So that's it's true. That's kind of a bummer. I, I, honestly, if you're going to steal one, that's definitely the best one to steal. Alejandro is probably going to score an Astro or a Beal, and that's going to put you back in two credits per turn territory. Mm -hmm. uh, and man, that is a good deal. Whoa, man. Whoa, man. Whoa, man. On the other end, though, and I've seen a lot of uh, Ian theory, you know, about how to play this against NBN, right? Let's say they score two. Well, now you're on the clock. You're looking to score two again, even it out. And then they score two more, then you can try to score two and then push ahead in the game. But you're trying to leverage Ian's ability with actually the ability to stop the fast advance. And it can often be very tricky. Yeah. Uh, Joe gonna hostage out for Katie. And then taking some Armitage credits, looks like. Oh, Katie. Using her straight away. I'm first, Steven Happy. First action, Alejandro is going to draw, then restructure. So much money. Probably not even really needed, you know, Cash considering that Joe's not going to be running. How many settlements did he have? And then install over HQ. And this is something to look at, right? Sometimes money just for money's sake is not doing anything for you. Now it's a great little nest egg to sit on if mm -hmm. uh, Alejandro is worried about account siphon, vamp, that kind of thing. He's not worried. But with no ice coming up, then... Uh, Maybe there's other things to do with those credits or those clicks. I don't know. But he can do whatever he wants right now. Alejandro obviously is here. First action, install. Second is draw two with Jackson. And third is install under Jackson. So we've got a couple upgrades going on over there. A lot of stuff. And this is the other way to kind of play NBN, at least at this time in the meta. You know, upgrade heavy. Some yeah. ash, maybe some red herrings, maybe some sand sands down there. You just never know. You never know. Got to expose some things sometimes. We got a fall guy. We got an express delivery. Nice. Search through the deck here. One of the really good criminal search effect. Mr. Lee being uh, comparable, but a little bit different. You know what's comparable to comparable? Apples. Comparable. It's like that potato potato thing. It is a lot like that. <laughs> Except I don't have a kid named. What about Bree? Mm. Do you ever call a Brie Bry and a Brie Cheese? Oh man, I would hope not. Yeah, I don't think so. You can only bake one of them. I've heard that nothing rhymes with, uh, what is it, there's a word, orange? orange? Yeah. Or, uh, there's something about blueberry, I don't remember what it is. But Blueberries. It's like the only blue thing in nature or something? Only in pies, never in stew? Probably not true at all. Criminal's blue. Joe establishing some economy here with Katie. He's got some money going on, and Logos threatening to search out whatever he needs. 
And I think Geo probably run in a very specific breaker like a Crypsis or an Overmind. My money's on Crypsis. I've seen less of Crypsis than I used to as well. Yes, and thank goodness for it. Yeah. All right, Astro Script. Ooh, Astro. Gonna get the counter, and Joe's going to trigger his Logos, and we're going to get to see what this Ian deck is up to. It's going to start scoring some stuff, man. So he goes and gets a card right now. And I'm quite interested to see what we're going to get here. Joe doing some immaculate shuffling over there. He's a very good shuffler. He's been playing card games forever. Alejandro doing a very nice uh, credit exchange there. I really appreciate him showing his opponent clearly what he's doing. and It's nice. Playing Sometimes that game. it gets a little fast and yep. you lose track. So Joe gaining his two credits for Ian. Second is going to be the source. It's going to make all agendas one more to res. That is so good. Uh, if, if Alejandro wants another Astro script out, he's going to have to install it and use that counter off of the other Astro to score. Ooh. And then Breach Alias. Three on Katie. Excellent. So Joe setting up those central breakers <laughs> and really yep. kind of making a point. Alejandro's going to install and gain two, so that could be an agenda there. Wow. Joe's going to gain two. And I think he has to try to go get that, even though he doesn't yep. really have a way to do it. He's just credit poor right now. Yeah, and he's got to pay an additional three to steal it because of the source. But First is special order. And he does have KD, so he's got nine in the bank. For a passport, three is credit, four is Katie. So he's going to yield this agenda. And if it's wow. an Astro, that's bad. It's just a deal, which is fair. Excellent. And Alejandro spending the token there on Astro Script. Don't think that he needed to do that. Uh, he had Santan, which is minus two to Beal. Uh, so, or minus one to Beal, so he needed two advancement counters plus the source, he needed three advancement counters, and he spent three and an Astro there. So that could be a huge mistake uh, for Alejandro here. One plus one plus two plus one. Right? As far as I know, that's, uh, <laughs> that's the case. That's the way that I'm looking at it, at least. And man, that's a, that's a difficult one. Yeah, it really is. He probably had in his head that if I install this out of hand, I have to spin the Astro counter on the Sand Sand, but uh, he installed it straight up, so I think he just needed three on there to, to get it done. Straight up. First two credits. Third is Keyhole, and fourth is Katie. So we see this setting up now. Mm -hmm. Almost there. Uh, the question is, is Joe going to be able to get it done in time? He is now on the clock. We've got four points from Alejandro. We've got a Sand Sand up. Uh, the Fall Guy was trashed to prevent the Source from leading play. Katie's ready to make a substantial deposit, though, so that's good. He's yeah, ready to really is. just make it work. Alejandro installs on that remote. I think Joe needs to go check that. Gaining two credits for Ian. And now is when he really needs to find the window here. Maybe take Katie inside job. You gotta you gotta watch out for that ash that's coming in. Yeah. First action, very important. Yeah, I think I think it's time. Yep. You do the math. But this got set up pretty quick though, Robert, I'll be honest. It did. We're only a uh few turns in. And did, I don't know, did, uh, I think Joe hit that, that second Logos trigger off Beal. I wasn't paying attention there. I certainly hope that he did. First is taking money off Katie. There it comes. All that cash. Yep. Scoop it up like you're playing roulette. Mm -hmm. Second is Vamp. Love this play, Joe. And now that kind of... Oh, there's the a booth. booth. That's fine. I think... I think you just don't break here. He's Joe's, going. Joe's going to go ahead and break for five. And then we see a Bastion. And he's going to break it for four. And then now Alejandro has the ability to res something. 
he'll go ahead and res the ash. Boom. Yeah, I don't know there. That kind of prevents Joe from stealing money. If it was Siphon, it's one thing, yeah. but on Vamp, I kind of like him having to pay there. I think now he just takes an access and just doesn't have a tag. Well, look how those credits came down. Woo. He's going to vamp everything, and now he's got wide open keyhole. Excellent. And you got to hope there's not a pop up window ah. there. Ah, oh, so good. And a quandary, man. That's exactly Jeez. what Alejandro wants there. Just rack them up. And it looks like Joe's trashing something. I did not see an agenda there. Yeah, it looked like all ice and stuff. And now both runners zeroed out. And I think he, I think Joe paid two with New Angeles to shake that tag from Vamp. So man, oh man, we're back to one. Joe's gonna have the unrivaled economy advantage now, though. Yeah. He's gonna get two credits every single turn, even after his first agenda score. Uh, he's also got Katie Jones here, and Alejandro's back on the gaining three train. That's right. <clears throat> Joe can easily win this battle. Yeah. That pop-up window is an issue. Second is Keyhole. Here we go. And boy, that economy is really going to help. Two to Keyhole is just so good, though. Yeah, it is. And there's the NAPD. Third is Keyhole. Paying two again. And we have ourselves a breach here, guys. Uh, this is exactly what this deck wants to do. This is how Ian wants to be played. <clears throat> and Alejandro doing the... Most important shuffle of his life. <laughs> it's got to count. And there's three cards. And Joe's going to track another NAPD. He's now on wow. six if he wants it. He needs a ton of money to get there. Wow. Uh, last three on Katie. So this is going to come down to the absolute wire. We've got an open sand sand over there. That's even incredible. with a card in it. Is it an agenda? Yeah. Has it been sitting there the entire time? <laughs> Source making things difficult, and Alejandro, you know, he he spent the Astro counter and advanced out the agenda three times. Yep. He may think he has to do that again. But yeah, Source and Sansan cancel each other out, and he does score the Astro. Boom. Man, that is amazing. Source is trashed. Big deal right there. Any agenda here coming down R&D is going to be very important for Alejandro. Yeah, uh, watch out. I don't know Joe's best line here, honestly. <laughs> I, I think maybe Keyhole, he triggers the Logos again here. Yep. Uh, maybe looking, man, almost here you want like a, an easy mark almost. You just need money. Yeah. You already uh, tap Katie this turn? Uh, he's, he's going into his turn now. He's searching for Logos off of that Astro Script score. So he'll get two credits and then it'll begin Joe's turn. Mm. Uh, and here we go. First is gaining two credits. And what next? This is a tough position. I think Joe's got a lot of options here, and I do not know what the right one is. This is what you'd call, we talked about it earlier in the series, this is a high brain power deck. Yeah. Uh, the mental energy you take uh, running this Ian deck is high. So uh, as Joe gets later and later in the rounds, it probably gets a little more difficult <laughs> to make those decisions. Slows you down just a bit. A little fatigue, mental. If, if Alejandro is sitting on an agenda here, he has the game. That's true. It's just such a problem. First is Katie for three. Yeah. That's what he had Second, to do. Second, what do we have? Leg work? Do we... We can't get through that toll booth, really? Mm-mm. Not a toll. Maybe a maker's eye or something here would be really nice. Lock down that R&D and force Al to have it's it in the just so hand. close right now. It's crazy. He needs eight just to score the four points in. Sneak door beta. Okay, I like this. I think this nice. is a good one. If Joe can pull that agenda. <gasps> and he scores it. Yeah. So that was the game right there for Alejandro. And going back. So he sees the breaking news. He at least has stopped the game from ending here as far yep. as we know. Unless Alejandro draws into one there. But it looks like he did not. So Joe making an incredible play here, saving his bacon, deal. as it were. And Lucky he's pull. now on two points. Mm -hmm. He needs one more point to threaten the Archives win. And Joe is running R&D straight up, looks like. <laughs> Going to go ahead and stop the agendas from coming in. Uh, that'll buy him another turn, potentially. 
And then he's gaining money and putting three on Katie. This is getting down to the wire yeah, here. Yeah, setting up. He just has to be ready to run any turn. Installing over R&D. Uh-oh. And two credits. Well so done. Joe gaining two credits and he's going to run R&D. Boom. And sees a TMI. And tracing for the res. It's going to be a trace four. That's going to be problematic. If he derezzes at camp, I think I think you probably leave this up. It's too close right now. I don't know. I don't know. Tough choices. Well, only three to, to put it back down. I think that's okay. I think you do three to put it back down, and then you pay two to keep going. There you go. Yeah. Pop up and break the quandary. You see a Jackson? Oh, that's going to put the pressure on to get those yeah. APD scored right now. <laughs> He's going to pop those back whenever he wants, yep. if not straight away. And there goes Jackson. Man, man, man. And more credits. Man, what a pickle Joe's in now. Yep. First, he's running Jackson there. Of course. Have and to. so pulling in APD is out of the discard pile. Joe's now at two points. Agenda density in R&D goes up way higher. Yep. And uh, unfortunately, they're in APDs. <laughs> so, I, I, you know, the thing is, imagine if those are Beals, or imagine if those are Astros. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, that's a much different line there. Mm -hmm. you, you probably score those hosta pronto. Uh, but then being NAPD is costing so much to score. Just kind of keeps Joe out. Yeah. And uh, Joe, really a bad, just a bad deal seeing those NAPDs instead of anything juicier. Such an advantageous card for the Corp. And running R&D. Uh, it looks like TMI comes up, or I'm sorry, goes back down, and then Joe's going to pay to go through to R&D. And, and he sees the NAPD. Oh, baby. Same story, different day. Oh, baby. That is not what he wants. And that's going to be it, I think, because yep. San San Astroscript counters should get it scored here. Yep, yep, yep. You are correct, sir. Install, advance twice with the Astro counter. That'll be four advancements. Three, technically. Yep. But San San's minus one, Astro's minus one, only needs two advancements on it. And will Alejandro do it? Or he will pass it. Whoa. Oh, my good What is going gravy. on? <laughs> oh, my good gra I think I remember talking to him after this and just him being like, oh, yeah, I just I just forgot that the sand sand was essentially. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. That's crazy, man. It's just crazy. Whoopsie so, doodle, big so time. Joe's staying in this game. One more turn. How long will that be there until he remembers the sand sand working the way it does? And he's probably looking at it right now thinking, oh, my gosh. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. That's pretty funny, honestly. Uh, Katie, and he's going to go ahead and run. Just the like, so here. you're saying there's a chance. What yeah. if he just installed His some breakers are not active here. Great trap mind. there. That'd be hilarious. Actual trace for six. There it is. How will he respond? I think he just lets it hit, and then he trashes the ash. Because will he have the money after all this? Yeah, to... that's the thing. He's got to trash the ash here. Just let it hit, trash it for four, and then go back in. Yeah. hope that that ice just can't be res. So yeah. that's why it doesn't come up here. Now, if Alejandro's really sneaky, it's going to be different. Yeah, so he lets it hit, trashes the ash. Boom. Gains a credit, goes back in. There it and is. There's the NAPD. Pay and foe. So Joe up to four points now. And also trashing the sand sand. That is a very, wow. very big deal. That means those NAPDs are no longer online for Alejandro if he draws in. That's true. And I think he may have just run into an NAPD, man. I'll be honest. <laughs> I'll be honest. Install gain in cash. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Joe gets his two. Oh, checking again. Gains two credits, runs Oh, the a remote. new Sand Sand. Watch out. Sand Sand is fine. I don't think, I see he doesn't have the credits right now. I think that's, that's right. fine. So if he draws it now. Three on Katie, mandatory draw. Could Can't put the Sand Sand up. Yeah, oh, that's right. Yeah, it's not up now. But he gains credit, so now it's online. <laughs> but Joe also now has the credits to trash. Yeah, and that's true. I have to think that that's a toll booth over there on the remote. 
you gotta poke it and just make him res that toll booth. Go do um, the aggro run. I'm in here. I'm ready to see this. <laughs> Especially, you make him res that toll booth, then you've got R&D keyholes. And two of those and an archives run could win the game. That's right. Uh, Joe may be taking a different line here. I think Alejandro is sticking around to res that toll booth. Oh, and Joe's trashed, long trashed the keyhole, man, for that sneak door. Oh, you're right. Oh, man, in Herpa my head, derp. that keyhole yeah. is, is all over the place. <laughs> uh, sneak door into the hand here. And sees a roto turret. And he's going to do it one more time. Sees it again. Sees it again. For another. And does it one more time. Has the credits for an APD. All right, a restructure. So Boom. Al may have it here. He's got to have it. No, nope, just getting credits. Doesn't, doesn't draw it. There it is. Restructures for more cash. For days. He's definitely pulled out of the vamp at this point. And installing in that remote. All right, Joe gaining two credits. First is running the remote. Is that a fat piece is of it, ice? Is it a toll booth? Is the question here. If it is, that'll keep him out. Joe has two cards in hand here. There we go. And it's Shinobi. Nice. So he is going to go ahead and res the Shinobi. And I do not know if he's got it. I think he's got enough credits to kill here. And he does. Yep. All Gee. those traces. Gee. Oh, it looks so good. Can't stop them all. And then the Beal down there. Oh, man. <laughs> Al's got it a million times. Now everybody blowing up about the San San Astro script score. Just blowing up about it. Ah, uh, hilarious. But hey, if nothing else, we can look at this game and say, what an Ian Sterling game, right? Yeah. So this is a very interesting... Uh, a good case study here. Very interesting game as well. I'm glad to see Ian at the top there. And uh, we got a Shinobi kill, too. There's just a lot of cool stuff in this game. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Looks like Al's going to move on to game 13, where he will face the uh, dropper of the winner's bracket to, for a chance to go to the finals. We'll catch you guys there at game 13.